Hi, this week I've got a nice and easy tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to make a simple design in Illustrator and then animate it in After Effects. In the first part of this tutorial we're going to make a project in Illustrator and in the second part of this tutorial we're going to animate it in After Effects. So let's start. Um, first you need to click on file and then create a new project. Um, basically um, give it a name and change the width to 1920 and the height to 1080 pixels. So after you've done that we can start. Um, first I'm going to select the rectangle tool and I'm going to set the stroke to none and I'm going to change the fill color to um, gray like that and I'm going to draw a table like that and I'm just going to move it so that it intersects with the center okay um, now we are going to draw the PC so select the rectangle tool and just draw a rectangle like this and then I'm going to draw a second rectangle um, basically just like that and I'm going to move it um, into this bigger rectangle and I'm going to adjust its size and I'm going to change the color of the bigger rectangle to uh, a slightly darker um, gray and I'm going to change the color of this shape to um, dark um, gray. So right now we've got this. Um, you can adjust this design if you don't like it. Um, this basically looks something um, like my PC so I decided to make it look like this. Now we're going to make two speakers. But first let me change the position of the PC. So let's create a rectangle like this and let's change the fill color and let's use the fill color of the bigger rectangle that's um, on the PC. And now let's create an ellipse and you need to press shift like that. And now let's add a stroke and we're going to make it a black stroke and let's change the fill color to something a bit lighter like that and um, let's change the stroke width to maybe 5 okay and let's make it slightly smaller and that looks good and now we need to add one more um, ellipse um, but we're going to turn off the stroke so let's make it like that and let's just make it a bit darker that looks good um, after you've um, placed it in the center of the bigger ellipse you can select all of these um, shapes press ctrl C then ctrl F and then we've got two speakers and we can adjust the position of the second um, speaker so now the only thing that's left is to make the monitor so let's do that um, we're going to start by um, drawing a small um, rectangle like that and we're going to use um, a slightly lighter shade of gray and it's going to be bluish like that and now we can draw in fact, let's just make a couple adjustments to this rectangle. I'm just going to make it a bit wider, like that. Um, now we can draw a second rectangle and we need to make sure that it intersects with the center of this one. Now we can um, zoom out um, like uh, this and we can draw um, the rest of the monitor. So we're going to draw a rectangle like that and we're going to make sure that it intersects with um, the center of these two shapes. 
Um, now we can draw the screen like that. Make sure that it intersects with the center of the main piece. And let's make it a bit darker like that. And let's change um, the fill color of this shape to also be a little bit darker like that. And that looks a lot better. Now the only thing left is to add a shape inside of the monitor um, on the screen like that and make it a bit lighter okay and now you need to use the shear tool um, press shift and just do this in fact um, like that and move it to the right like this and now this looks good um, you can also make a couple of adjustments um, by moving the speakers and the monitor, but it's all up to you. You can even add more elements if you want to, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to use this simple um, design. So now we need to make a couple adjustments to the project. Uh, we need to click right here where it says layers. And then as you can see, all of our shapes are on the same layer. And we don't want that. We want um, each shape to be on a separate layer so that we can animate it in After Effects. So you're going to click right here and then click Release to Layers. And now you can click on this layer, then shift click on the last layer and move them up like that. And now we've got this empty layer which we're going to delete. Now all of these shapes are on a separate layer and that makes it um, easier to animate this in After Effects. The only thing left is to save um, this project and that's it. You can import it in After Effects. So next week I'll be uploading the second part of this tutorial. If you would like to see it, then make sure to subscribe if you already haven't. Um, please check out my channel for more tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you next time.